Hello everybody, Seamus Kaboom is back with Harry Potter and avoiding the tree. Okay, okay, I got a shot on him. Okay, oh no. Gotta avoid, gotta avoid that. Put the car down. I'm trying. Ouch. Oh no. I'm doing what I can, bro. Stop yelling at me, Ron. Okay. Okay. Avoiding. Avoiding. Oh no. Oh, avoiding. Okay. You mind putting the car down, bro? Done. You don't need to yell at me, Ron. I took care of what was needed. And of course, it's story time. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I just barely start an episode and, oh, we're going to waste everybody's time by doing this. By the Great. time Harry and Ron had escaped from the <laughs> Swamping Willow, the sorting uh, ceremony oh, had well. already begun. They peered in at the Great Hall and watched as the aged old sorting hat placed new students into the four Hogwarts houses, as it had for so many years past. Yep. Harry remembered putting the sorting hat on a year ago, and for a few horrible seconds he had feared the hat was going to put him into Slytherin, along with Draco Malfoy. Not Slytherin, eh? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Yeah, Don't yeah, we went over this last game. Come on. We already know this. As they watched the sorting, Harry noticed that at least one teacher was missing from the staff table. Hang on. Where's Snake? And then, from behind him, came the voice Harry dreaded to hear. It was Professor Slick. Whoa, he Harry's looks kind of like Lord Farquaad there, doesn't I'm he? I'm waiting to hear why you two did Professor Farquaad, reporting for duty. It was a great start to the term, thought Harry, as they followed Snape to his office. Yep. Once there, Snape nastily admonished them about flying the car to Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will go immediately to your common room, and I will think about how to punish you. Okay. You sound a little different from last game, though. I'm not gonna lie. Just gonna throw that out. Just saying. Just saying. Now I get to wander the halls a little bit. Finally. And more bean collection. You know it's nighttime, but why is the sun coming through the windows? I don't understand that. See, look at all that sunlight for it being night. And all those students running around, too. Just, hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Can you believe our luck? Fred and George must have flown that car five or six times, and they never had an accident. I really thought we'd get expelled for sure. Yeah. Come on, Ron. Let's go to the Gryffindor common room. Do you think you can remember the way? No problem. Follow me! Can you remember the way? Because this all looks different from last year. I'm just gonna say I don't remember this little hallway being like this. So, can we really trust that Ron knows the way? Maybe he needs to ask Ugandan Knuckles if he knows the way. Okay. Now I gotta come up here because there's more beans that I gotta jump. Cool. Okay, I got all three. Good. 159. I'm on a good start on beans. I don't know if I hit. I can hit a max on. Harry Potter mustn't stay at Hogwarts. So you're gonna create armors that will hurt me? Why would you do something like that, Dobby? If you want to protect me, why would you create things that hurt me? Because you know what, Dobby, that hurts me. More physic more so than the physical, it's the emotional that you would do that to someone you consider a friend. Wow! Harry Potter, oh. it's really you! Yeah. Hey, Whoa! Hey, Whoa! Would it be alright if I took your picture? Everyone told me about how you survived. Did he just you turn into a terminator? And you really do have that lightning scar on your forehead. 
It's brilliant here, isn't it? Whoa. Okay. His his voice totally distorted like a speaker box from a Terminator. I know that that was because this program does that every now and then with its, uh, the game footage when I'm doing my recordings. You've heard it before. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't happen in this recording like it did in the first one, but you know. Flying a car right into the one Evidently, Creevy evidently is part Terminator. We're making that apparently Brilliant. canon. What an entrance! We'd better get to the common room before Snape sees us. Yeah, but I kind of want to walk around some more. I mean, there's this out of bounds that's locked. Uh, there's the Great Hall. I'm going to go in there because, you know, it's a room full of tables. Why wouldn't I go in there? Just saying. Going to go check out the Great Hall. See what's so great about it. And there's nothing so great. There's a few beans. There's some tables and chairs. More beans. More beans over here. We. All right. Yup. Nothing else that's so great. Nothing else that's so great. All right, let's go check out the rest of the castle right now. Come on. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 let's do this. Thank you. Okay. At least it's still the, uh, the loading in this one doesn't take as long as it does on the PS2 version. It takes forever. Okay. Here we go. So it does look partially the same there, but then uh, we get different again. Yeah. Yeah, kind of different again. Got a bean up here. Get me the bean. Oh, look, there's Creepy again. How the hell did he get up here so fast? Oh, never mind. That's right. He's a Terminator. All right, more beans. 180. There's a secret here. Gonna go in here. Gotta do my exploration while I can. Because once again, kind of like the first one, once you accelerate to a certain part of the plot line and the storyline of the game, you can't go back and do obtaining stuff. <gasps> oh yeah, it's all the secret stuff right now. Okay, yeah, so I do need this area. Okay, so more beans. Give me more beans and more beans. More beans. Give me them beans. No books. Hit the book. Thank you. Hit the book, Harry. Come on, dude. Hit the freaking thing. Harry? Thank you. Jeez, man. What the heck was that? That bean and this bean. Got more beans here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right. Boop, boop. Okay. That puts me at 200. Okay, so I can still get more than 200. That's good. I just, I'm just worried where the cutoff is gonna be. <laughs> because I don't know if it's supposed to be like you can carry this many beans. Cause like they said, you use beans for currency, buy cards, but I'm not there yet, and I'm at over 200 beans. More beans. <laughs> Alright. More beans. Alright. Beanie, beanie bean. More beans. More beans. Excellent. 
Oh, there's a card. Gonna need that card. Gimme. Birdie bot. Birdie bot. I mean, it makes sense since I'm getting all these beans that it would be Birdie Bot. Okay, 235. That's me at 235. Oh, look, more beans! More beans have appeared. For me. Millions of beans. Beans for me. Millions of beans. Beans for free. Beans for free. Oh, look, more beans! I'm so excited about seeing beans. I shouldn't be. I really should not be this excited about beans. But anyways, let's move on. Okay. Uh, next time we're gonna continue on the way to the, uh, Commodore 64.